Hi, and welcome to the first question of this ACT math practice test that I'm going to be going over. I will create a series of 60 videos for all, each one for one of the 60 questions on the ACT math exam. This practice math test that I'm showing you is one based on an actual ACT test and all the questions are accurate and give you exactly what you will get on an ACT exam. If you want to check out some of the strategy videos and the formulas you'll need to know and an overview of the math section, please just check out the other videos on this channel. I should be posting those strategy and formula videos soon if they're not already up. Uh, in the meantime, though, I want to get down to the nuts and bolts of each of the questions on this test. So let's start with number one here. So number one says, what is the value of x when 5x over 4 plus 24 equals 19? So this is a fundamental or a basic algebra question, right? And so let me just write it out. So 5x over 4 plus 24 equals 19. Now in algebra, you're always trying to get the variable, in, in this case x, by itself, right? Not always, but in this question we are. But oftentimes in algebra, you are trying to get that uh, by itself. Also, algebra is about undoing, right? So what's been done to this equation is 24 has been added. So that means we're going to subtract 24 as our first step. You just notice it's been added here. So we do the opposite of that and we subtract. Now if you know 5x plus 4 was being multiplied by 24, we do the opposite of that and divide. You always do the opposite of what's already there if you want to solve the problem. So here you go, let's solve it. So we'll start by subtracting 24 from each side. All right, and that gives us 5x plus 4 on this side because we've gotten rid of that 24 completely. And then if we take 19 minus 24, we get negative 5. And then look at what we've got. What we've, got. We, we've got a fraction. And one thing you may know about fractions is that the numerator can always be considered to be being divided by the denominator, the bottom number. So since 5x is being divided by 4, we will multiply by 4. So we'll times 4 over here, and we'll times 4 over here. And so we'll end up with 5x on this side and negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. So we'll get negative 20 over here. And so now we've got multiplication on this side. And so since 5x is being multiplied by x, we'll just do the opposite, which is to divide both sides. And remember, you always do this. You have to do the same thing to both sides. So we'll divide by 5 and end up with x equals negative 4. All right, and that's good because b is negative 4.